Hi everyone. Today we'll talk about how to learn PLC programming without spending a dime. And people often ask me, how do I actually learn how to how to program PLCs? Well, when I was younger, uh, in school that is, we learned basically on a microprocessor. It was the Motorola 6809. But today we have a lot more standards for PLC programming, and so it's much easier to learn these days. The uh, the best uh, resource I came across was a, a PLC programming for industrial automation by Kevin Collins. This is a free publication. It's, it was done as an ebook. Um, I'll, I'll, there'll be a link um, in the website and in the uh, information at the bottom of this video. But in there, we, there's a very good overview of the PLC as well as it actually talks about the ladder programming. Not a whole lot of uh, books actually talk about the programming and they're very specific to individual uh, manufacturers. So looking, just bri briefly looking through, you'll actually see uh, a bunch of information. It, it's uh, not a manufacturer specific at all, so which is really great. And at the end of every section, they actually have a, uh, a question and answer period. So you can test, test your knowledge out. So once you've uh, learned the basics, and the basics on that will actually teach you a lot of things. Um, the inputs, the outputs, timers, counters, and a lot of the bit logic and relay. The next thing to do is to then put this into practice. And the best thing um, I found is to use the Do More PLC software, which is the Do More Designer. If you go to their website, again, a link will be provided in the notes before below uh, you will see the do more and what you want is the uh, do more designer it's a full featured programming software that means it doesn't limit you to anything at all um, in terms of uh, what instruction set you can have or anything and it also comes with a free simulator so what you do is you just download that information and what you'll also find is there's a lot of help videos. There's an introduction to the uh, uh, Do More PLC. There's also a uh, series on how to actually utilize the Do More PLC. Now keep in mind that a lot of these PLC manufacturers are the same way in which you program. So don't get uh, confused about all the different methods and terminology. Keep to the basics, the inputs, outputs, registers, etc. So if we call up the um, the actual software it looks like this so you can uh, continue your learning after you've read the ebook and you can do things in the do more uh, like the program organization the processes that's being PID um, your data types the inputs outputs you can just uh, do a simple make like lights blank and if I call up a program let's do this first program here You'll see that automatically, this is what I used the program before, and it was a, a Do More Simulator. And we'll go back here and we'll just turn the status on. So you can see my status as my bits are on and off. So basically, X0 turns on Y0, not X1 turns on Y1, and then we have end of the program. So looking at the simulator, if I turn on X0, Y0 turns on turn off x1 y1 turns off so you can see here that I'm actually controlling the simulator and the simulator itself just point this out we are using Ethernet connections which is um, a method in which to communicate to the do more software so anything you do here you can actually um, convert to an actual real-world uh, program and download it so once you've uh, uh, finished with your programming, looking at your uh, information, then you can move on to more complex uh, information such as uh, sequential programming. Um, also, uh, you can go into more math functions, PID for process design. Uh, so then that's, uh, that'll give you a good start on learning the PLC. And the best thing to do is to practice, practice, practice. Think of some applications and practice. 
Now, the last topic that I usually uh, will talk about is communication and communication to other devices. That's being use of SCADA, uh, HMIs. So what you want to do is you want to, once you've finished programming, is to get that information out of the PLC and into the hands of someone that may want to uh, utilize that data for something. So I've created a bunch of links and how to do that with certain PLCs and you'll see that again in the reference material below this video. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.